Hey everyone. Today I'd like to show you how we can create this look here inside of InDesign, uh, passing first through Photoshop. Now the important thing to note here is that this red stroke just here, it's actually applied inside of InDesign and we can easily edit it in InDesign. So let's jump into Photoshop and start creating this look. So here's my Photoshop file and we have the layers panel just here with two layers. So if I turn off the visibility of the top layer, there's my original layer, nothing special, it's just a photograph. And then if I turn off its visibility and just show you the second layer, okay, so that's what's going on. We have created a cutout of our subject. Now my apologies guys, this is not a lesson on Photoshop masking, okay? Uh, there's a million uh, YouTube tutorials on how to do that. You can apply vector masks like I've done here. You can apply layer masks, selections, turn them into masks, paintbrushes, whatever you like. You just need to mask your subject, okay? So that's our Photoshop file. Uh, by the way, the layer names don't matter, okay? I've got original and cutout. Yours can be named whatever you like. So let's now jump into InDesign. And I have a blank document just here. Let's go up to File, uh, Place. And on my desktop, there's my Photoshop file, and I'll just click and drag that out. Now there is a bit of dead space just here, so I might just trim that up a little bit there like so, and maybe make that a little bit larger. There we go, very nice. Okay, so we've got our Photoshop file inside of our InDesign document, and you can see over here we've got our Layers panel. We'll be keeping an eye on what's going on just here. So we need two copies of this Photoshop file. So remember, within our Photoshop file, we've got two layers. Within InDesign itself, we need two copies of our Photoshop files, one sitting on top of the other. So with our picture selected, let's go up to Edit Copy, and then choose Edit Paste in Place. Now that's pasted it directly on top of the first one, and you can see here inside of the Layers panel, sure enough, there's our two images just there. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the bottommost layer for just a second, oh, excuse me, the bottom most picture, just so we can really see what's going on. So I've selected the topmost image, and let's go now up under Object, Object Layer Options, and this gives us the ability to turn off and on the visibility of layers within our Photoshop document. So I've got my preview turned on. If I turn Original off, fantastic, we are now just seeing the cutout from our Photoshop file. Choose OK. So now we need to turn our background image back on and then trim the top edge of it. So let's do that. Let's turn the visibility of this guy back on. And let's go in now and select that background image. And I'm clicking and clicking and I still have the topmost image selected. How can I tell that? It's actually this little square just over here inside of the layers panel. That's letting me know what's selected. So we need to select the guy behind it. Now we can do this in a couple of different ways, which I'll show you just now. We can actually, from within the layers panel, click that little square next to the layer name. And we now have the background image selected, which is great. I'll just click away and show you another way, which is great. Uh, I'm again, selecting the image just here, which is the frontmost image, of course. If you wish to be able to select images behind one another inside of InDesign, hold down Command on the Mac, that's control on a Windows machine. And if you click, it'll allow you to select the image behind, which you can see it's now showing up here inside of the layers panel. So using one of those two methods with our background image selected, we can now grab that top edge, drag down and fantastic. We have now got nearly the look that we are going for. So the only thing we have left to do now really is to apply the stroke to that background image. So again, select the frontmost image, command or control to select the background image, and then let's jump over to the stroke area within our properties panel. Let's apply a ridiculously obvious stroke so we can see what's going on today. Let's apply a nice uh, big 10 point red stroke. Everything looks great except if we have a close look at the corner just here, you can see we've got a problem with the uh, alignment of the stroke. Easy to fix. Click on the word stroke. We are looking for align stroke. We have options for center, 
for inside and outside. Let's set that to outside and we are done at this point, guys. Fantastic. So I just wanted to point out everything is still fully editable at this point. For example, let's say I wanted to adjust the height of this uh, top edge. Click, Command or Control, click again. I can easily set that to whatever I like. And let's say I wish to uh, change this left edge. Well, I will just select both the images and drag that edge like so. And I'm still free to resize them all as well. So pressing Command or Control plus the Shift key, I can easily resize that like so. So that's it there, guys. The uh, trick for having subjects pop out of your images here inside of InDesign via Photoshop. I hope that helps there, guys. Catch you later.